simple shooting a BiPAP, bi-level positive airway pressure machine, involves addressing common issues that users may encounter during its operation. Keep in mind that specific troubleshooting steps can vary based on the brand and model of the machine. So it's crucial to refer to the manufacturer's guidelines and consult with your healthcare provider if needed. Here is a general troubleshooting process. Check power connection. Ensure that the BiPAP machine is properly connected to a power source. Confirm that the power cord is securely plugged into both the machine and the electrical outlet. Inspect tubing and mask. Check the tubing for any kinks, bends or leaks. Replace damaged tubing as necessary. Inspect the mask for proper fit and any signs of wear or damage. Adjust or replace the mask if needed. Examine filters. Check the air filters for dirt or blockages. If the filters are dirty, clean or replace them according to the manufacturer's instructions. Verify settings. Ensure that the BiPAP machine is set to the prescribed pressure levels, IPAP and EPAP, as recommended by your healthcare provider. Confirm that any additional settings, such as ramp time or humidification, are correctly configured. Mask, fit and seal. Make sure the mask is fitted securely, creating a proper seal. An improper mask fit can lead to air leaks. Adjust the mask straps to achieve a comfortable yet snug fit. Address air leaks. If you notice air leaks around the mask, troubleshoot by adjusting the mask or replacing its components. Inspect the mask cushion, nasal pillows or other sealing components for wear and tear. Humidification issues, if applicable. If the BiPAP machine has a humidifier, check the water level and refill if necessary. Clean the humidifier chamber regularly to prevent mineral deposits. Check tubing for condensation. Ensure that there is no excessive condensation in the tubing, which can affect the airflow. If condensation is present, consider using a heated tubing or insulating the tubing to prevent temperature variations. Review error. Messages. Pay attention to any error messages or alarms displayed on the machine. Refer to the user manual to interpret and address specific error codes. Contact technical support. If you cannot resolve the issue through basic troubleshooting, contact the manufacturer's technical support or your healthcare provider for assistance. Always follow the manufacturer's guidelines and the advice of your healthcare provider when troubleshooting issues with your BiPAP machine. If you experience persistent problems, seek professional assistance to ensure the effectiveness of your therapy. One of the most common issues with CPAP and BiPAP machines is a lack of air pressure. This can be caused by a variety of factors, including a dirty air filter, clogged air tubing, or a malfunctioning machine. To troubleshoot this issue, start by checking the air filter and replacing it if it is dirty. Most problems from BiPAP involve the face mask. It may fit too tightly. Some other risks include local skin damage from the mask, local skin damage from the mask, mild stomach bloating, dry mouth, leaking from the mask, causing less pressure to be delivered. If you have trouble breathing, a BiPAP machine can help push air into your lungs. You wear a mask or nasal plugs that are connected to the ventilator the machine supplies pressurized air into your airways. It is called positive pressure ventilation because the device helps open your lungs. You may notice immediate improvements after starting CPAP treatment, such as better sleep quality, reduction or elimination of snoring, and less daytime sleepiness. Equally important are the long-term benefits of CPAP, which include helping to prevent or control high blood pressure, Lowering your risk for stroke. Increasing oxygen concentration inside the BiPAP mask using nasal cannula with addition another flow meter not only increase oxygen saturation but also make the patient more comfortable and prevent intubation and its complications. By design, a BiPAP device lowers the level of air pressure during exhalation. For some people, it is possible that the pressure will be too low to keep the airway open 
and successfully treat obstructive sleep apnea. Another potential drawback is that BiPAP machines can be more expensive than CPAP machines. Type of sleep apnea. CPAP is typically used to treat most cases of obstructive sleep apnea and may be prescribed to people with mild central sleep apnea, CSA. BiPAP is more likely to be suggested for those with CSA and other serious breathing conditions. BiPAP and CPAP devices differ primarily in their air pressure delivery. BiPAPs provide distinct air pressure levels for inhalation and exhalation, whereas CPAPs maintain a constant fixed pressure throughout each breath. 